And John Van Beesbrook, just one of many of the U.S. Olympians arriving in Beijing for the Games as we're now uh, just about three days away. Yeah, the days leading up to the Games are a psychological minefield under normal circumstances, but the ongoing pandemic has intensified that stress with athletes knowing a positive COVID test could mean they won't compete at all. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with a closer look at the impact on our athletes. Yeah, Kim and Evan. So, you know, Olympic organizers reported 71 new COVID cases inside the Olympic bubble over the weekend, including 28 involving athletes or team officials. Now, other athletes have tested positive before even departing for the games, including U.S. bobsledder Josh Williamson. As the competition is soon set to begin, concern about COVID looms large. As the U.S. Olympic team is arriving in Beijing, short track speed skater Mame Baini is voicing the fears of many. If we get COVID right now, we're not skating, and that's extremely fearful. I know that I've done everything in my power to not get COVID, and I've done everything right. And she's determined to stay on track. I'm really focusing on, like, things that I can control. Like, that's, like, my life motto right now. That's a good mindset, says Apollo Ono, Team USA's most decorated Winter Olympian. I think the single most important thing to remember as all these athletes go into these games is that you must control what you can and then disregard what you cannot. Ono says the athletes are prepared for the extreme precautions. The athletes have gone through a lot of these different um, circumstances and environments for the past year and a half as, as they have competed around the world. So they have some semblance of what's happening. Athletes are really good at adapting. Like they're excellent, right? They're really, really good at adapting to stress, to these environments. And I think that the one commonality here is that it's somewhat of an even playing ground. Even though it's being competed on foreign soil, soil Everyone has to go through the same thing. Ono says, ultimately, the Olympics are still about rising to the challenge. Yes, will it be different? Yes, will it be hard? Yes, will they still have a chance to win? Absolutely. Now, once the athletes clear the initial testing process, they'll be tested every day with a throat swab. And if they test positive, they'll be retested with a PCR test. Now, those who are asymptomatic will still be required to isolate until they test negative on two PCR tests at least 24 hours apart. Athletes with symptoms are going to be isolated at designated hotels. Interesting. Well, what's the protocol for athletes that are deemed close contacts? Yeah, that's even more complicated. So close contacts will still be allowed to train and compete, but they will be tested every 12 hours for seven days and six hours before any competition. They are also going to have to stay in a single room, eat alone, and wear a mask around others, except when competing. So, so much. Okay, Dr. McGeorge, as always, thank you.